Hey guys, welcome to the vault. We are back with some more uh, exclusive content. Jason, Leon, and Pierre here. We're here to review um, Hack Club's new collection. Uh, Pierre has them in hand. Um, the off-white collection. I believe they're calling it the White Domes. Um, mm -hmm. Unofficially, but Pierre's has them. So let's talk about it. Pierre, take it away. Yeah, fresh out the box. So you know how much I love two-tones and I love the off-white two-tones. These are, mm -hmm. these are, I mean, listen, it's probably my colorway of the year. Like I just, you know, I'm right. not saying the brim has to be a specific, specific color, but I'm saying the two-tone with the off-white crown. Yeah. Um, just fantastic. My fittings killed it. Then you had Hack Club Club with the panna cottas, right? Which I thought were great. Mm -hmm. And now you've got this more traditional um, off-white two-tone set. So I'm going to go through them. I have all of them but the Yankees. Um, so I'm going to go through them. And maybe we'll give our top top four. How does that sound, guys? Sounds good. Sounds great. All right. Well, let's do it. So I'm going to start with this one. Panic. Mm. People cannot get enough of this logo uh, logo combo. No. Great combo, though. Green oh. under. Green mm. under. This is a beauty. Hope you guys are taking note. Mm -hmm. Next up, <clears throat> San Diego. Yeah, that's a good color on the front of there. Like when they do the opposite color. Uh, with, a gray, with a gray under. The front. That's not the same color. This is this pops off the front, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next up, super clean, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. God, this thing is slick, right? That's slick. Yeah. Gray under. You can't go wrong with that Seattle logo, though, with the compass and all that. Yeah, it's good. Kind of it's, in red. it's crazy. King Griffey vibes. Yep. All right. Hey, hey Rod vibes. <laughs> this one's good. I like this. Yeah. One. It's crazy. This is one, another one of those combos people can't get enough of. <clears throat> it's beautiful. I mean, if you missed out on the Ox Pack, the 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 lost tape, you know that that's a good consolation prize if you can get that one instead. Slick, 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 CR. Mm -hmm. I love that patch I like for some patch. reason. I don't, I don't know what, what it is about. It. Yeah. It's like a circus. Mm -hmm. I know. Like a tent, a circus tent. Yeah. I the like Ferris that. wheel in the background. Sounds like a good time. I bet it does mm -hmm. mean. This one was the, the flat embroidery in the front. Aero specific logo, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. I like this one. Does so, that have uh, a Batterman? Does that have a Batterman? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. This is a nice like this hat, though, right? Yeah. Green on it. Under. is. Mm -hmm. All right. For Leon here. <laughs> yes, sir. Not bad. Not bad. The ball hat. The green. That's good. So good. This one is sweet, man. Oh. Yeah. 34. Uh, I had to go way back for that. Who played for the men? No idea. <laughs> that's before Willie Mays, right? Way before. Mays. Oh, that's like 20, 30 years yeah. before Willie Mays. Yeah. All right. A little more recent for you guys. This one's okay. this one slick. Listen, black looks so powerful coming off a cream visor. Like I was just gonna say yeah. we didn't get a lot of black off whites, but that I don't like. I don't mind how they look. No, they look nice. Yeah. Gray under on this one, obviously. It's a good collection. This one's really nice too. This this side patch on this type of hat is crazy because it looks all old and retro. I don't know. It's just simple. Yeah. This is a good looking hat, man. This is well done. I feel like that. Yeah, like that's what they should wear with their old like kind of jerseys. Uh, yeah, um, Dodgers should wear a cream crown every now and then, off white. Okay. There's no outline on the. Is there an outline on the B? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Though. That's a nice hat, though. 
the red really makes it. And then what color under gray? Okay. Um, I'm not sure. I might have liked green on this one, but yeah. Yeah. Just because of the side patch, but I do like this hat. Yeah, that's it, man. All but the Yankees. I mean, I think these are I think these are good, man. I don't yeah. think there's a bad one in the bunch, right? No, man. There's not. Why the hell are we gonna rank these now? I've got my top four here. So what yeah. do you guys got for top four? I got three for sure. All right, just do three. That's fine. You don't have to force All right. Um, uh, obviously the Cubs. Okay. Cubs are, I mean, that's a, that's a panic combo for a reason. Um, yeah, love that logo and that side patch. Yeah, this is a beauty. Uh, All right. So, yep. Yeah, then I might go a little bit off the board. Uh, I like the Twins. Okay. Um, I love that side patch. It's one of my favorite. Um, giant star. Um, yeah, with that green under against that red, that's a good one. And then uh, my my third, or I guess first, would be uh, the New York Giants. Oh, okay. The, the 34. It's got the, yeah, the orange that pops off and the black and, and cream combo. You and I have an bottom. alarmingly similar top list. Yeah, that's a, that's a good hat right there. You also picked... Yeah, green huh? I green. I think green looks best on this uh, this off white two tone. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Actually, <clears throat> yeah, how about you? I'm gonna go coming in at number number three, which is the New York Giants. Number oh, two. Wow. Number two is the Chicago Cubs, and then number one for me is the Pittsburgh Pirates. I just I just haven't seen a lot of off white with black. So I think the Pirates one is just really slick, especially for people, like I said, who, who unfortunately could not get the lost, the lost tape, the Mac Miller, you know, and hopefully you, you got this one and it's a consolation mm -hmm. prize, but that is a, a, a nice and slick hat. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to do a top five. How does that sound? Yeah, that's fine. Sounds great. Number five. This one's really good. I'm going I didn't want to sound biased though, but this one's really good. Number four, I'm going Red Sox. Yes. This would have been number one if that was a green under, in my opinion. Yep. This would have been the number one. That's that's what kept it out of my top three. Number three for me. That's so good. New York mm -hmm. baseball giant. Man. Look at this. So good. Number two for me. <sighs> ah. What's it? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's my number two. Number one. What you got number or number whoever, one. whoever. I don't think any hat better fits this aesthetic than this one. Twins. Yeah. Flat <laughs> embroidery on the Twin Cities logo. At eighty-five All Star Game patch on the side. Green under. I don't think any hat fits this aesthetic better than this. You definitely have that that eight late eighties early nineties uh, snapback starter. It's oh yeah, feel the, to them. The flat embroidery sure. kills it for that. I, uh, yeah, I might, not, I might have made a mistake leaving that out of top three. But, yeah. <laughs> really yeah. good, really good. All right, noise. guys. Well, this this was fantastic. I I appreciate you jumping on. I appreciate us going through this. I listen. We had a huh? Good collection. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We also had alarmingly similar lists. Alarmingly similar, but that means they were standouts, man. I mean, I think yeah. I think some of these hats are just standouts. Um, I'm happy I got my hands on them. Uh, these are everyday wear type caps, much like the My Fittest collection from earlier um, in the year. I, I just think these are just these are the kind of hats I, I would want to wear every day. Yeah. Any final nice. thoughts, fellas? No, just I don't think there's any bad ones out there. You know, uh, all in all, you know, hopefully you guys got lucky. This was like a midweek drop, which has kind of been weird for them to do a big drop during the week. Um, so hopefully you guys got lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah, it was, I think it's a nice way to wind down that all-star collection um, to introduce some alternate colors. Um, yeah. I wish they would have done more, uh, you know, and they had 70-plus uh, years to work off of. I wish they would have done a few more. Maybe they tried to and just couldn't get them. I don't know. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think a lot, yeah. It's a good, good, good uh, little alternative to uh, the rest of the set.
Fair enough, man. I love the collection. Well, guys, thanks again for doing this. I appreciate it. As always, this is fun, man. Looking at looking at hats, man. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 nothing, it's, it's just a, such a cool hobby. You know, I yeah, think yeah. Um, I've, I've enjoyed my time doing it. I know you guys have as well. And it's been fantastic. But, you know, these are another great collection. I appreciate you guys doing this with me. Leon, big fella, take us away. Let us know in the comments uh, which of the White Dome collection are, are your favorites. You know, let us know uh, which of them you hit on. Um, for Jason, Leon, and Pierre, we're signing out, guys. Stay fitted. See you, everybody. Peace.